What up, family? My name is Chris Ramsey, and welcome back to The Shift. Hope you enjoyed that footage. I had a great time in Las Vegas, as you can tell by my voice, which is starting to come back right now. Before moving on, let's announce the winner of last week's contest. I asked you guys to like the video and comment below, and I choose one of you to take them home, and that winner is the drum roll is like this. Roy Mather. Roy, congratulations. Send us your info via Facebook, so facebook.com slash Murphy's Magic Supplies. We'll be glad to send that out to you ASAP. Now remember to win this week's contest. Simply like this video and comment below your thoughts on the performances and or products. We'll choose one of you to take home these two very, very cool looking prizes next week. This week we got some pretty exciting stuff going on. First and foremost, be sure to check out Peter Egging at our At The Table experience. Peter is a world-renowned creator of magic and mentalism and all sorts. He's released countless products. You can check him out. I'll leave the link below where you guys can check out the trailer for this week's At The Table. For this week's deal, we're looking at two products. Once again, first and foremost, Revolution by Greg Wilson. Those of you who know what this is know how cool it looks, very visual. And we also have Triage by Danny Weiser, another visual product. So let's get into a quick performance I did of Triage for the camera, and we'll talk about it after this. Yeah. So that was triage, or one thing you could do with triage. What it is, is a visual torn and restored. Well, a visual restored, anyways. The reason I did it for the camera is that I couldn't bring myself to perform this for anyone live. Shin Lim might say otherwise, or Danny as well, and they might have a really good handling for it. I myself did not feel comfortable with the gimmick to do this in a live setting. It did take me a few takes to get even that one on camera, so I'm going to be honest. However, as I've said before, I think that, that there is a market, there is a demand for visual effects that look good simply on the camera. I'm not saying that this is only good in camera, I'm saying I would not be comfortable performing it uh, for people. Perhaps on stage or something with a camera overhead, it might be good, but in live, there are some discrepancies. Beyond that, I do think it's a very visual trick and very cool, so if you're putting up a demo reel or simply just wanna throw up some marketing on your Instagram or on your Facebook in a quick video. This is a great product. So there are platforms in magic such as TV magic, stage magic, close up, parlor. And I think just camera magic is one of those platforms. Now, it might not be the platform which you currently use. However, it is a tool and I think people out there should realize that. There are effects that are just better suited for the camera and those things actually help out your social marketing. I did enjoy it for the visual effect, so I do like the product. However, I tried to build one and that was quite tedious. Now you can actually order them pre-made, so I highly recommend this. Get the ready-made one. The ready-made one is actually really uh, good and really well made, so it's lasted me. I've played around with it for like two or three days non-stop and it's still going. I would definitely recommend getting that one. So check this out, Triage by Danny Weiser. Next up we have Revolution by Greg Wilson. This is a Murphy's Magic produced product. And not surprisingly sold out in half a day. Now we sold out to the vendors, but you can still get yours if you're lucky. If you hit up your local magic shop or online retailer, you can still probably snag these up before they all go. We have a second one coming along right now because the demand is pretty high. So check out a small performance I did for the camera and we'll talk about that after this. So that was a few little spinny spins with Revolution. I really like this gimmick. Now someone asked me, can this be performed in the real world? I would say absolutely. 
This is something that has multiple applications in the real world. So when you get this, you're also uh, given a link to where you can learn a nice routine using an invisible deck, which Greg teaches. Um, there are a few routines that he teaches which are actually really great. You do get a few gaff cards included in here, so gaff cards that look like they've been swirled and spun, and he does have the routines for those, so they're very well taught. What I would do with this is simply to have the card spin on my finger and walk up to a table. Now, you can have this thing going for over a minute, so imagine not saying a word, not saying, hey ladies and gentlemen, I do magic, because that, you know, that always sucks. So, spin it on your finger and just walk up to the group and start casually talking to them. And they'll, you know, it's, it's, it's a fun, whimsical way of presenting yourself. You know, you can, you can either spin the box as well, as Greg does in the trailer, and have them name any card, and uh, that card's the only card backwards in the deck, so. There are multiple applications for this, all of which look really cool on camera, in person. It's, it's just one of those things that's really fun to do. Now, it's a toy, it's a gadget, but uh, there's no batteries, no electronics, nothing like that. The gimmick will probably last you forever. It's really well made. And you can have this in your card box and take all your cards out afterwards. Um, it's a really cool effect, as you've seen on the videos. It's something to play around with and to have fun with. So, highly recommend Revolution. Hopefully, they're not all sold out everywhere and you can get your hands on them. So, check this out Revolution by Greg Wilson. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that was it for the shift for this week. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the quick reviews and the footage from Magic Live. I'll see you guys next Sunday. Have a great weekend for what's left of it. And, uh, peace out.